biking through a castle. Just another Tuesday. Lower the drawbridge. Here's the old moat. Come hither. I made it to coast just across from Turkey. I took a ferry this morning. I barely got there. Maybe got there with 15 minutes to spare. It's my second time in Greece. The first time was just a day trip to an island called Castellarizo. Really interesting island. Uh, I was there about four or five years ago, but just a day trip. So I plan on being here in Greece for about a month. Making my way now to a nude beach. So far, Greece is beautiful and hilly. Ioni inok patio ayapaima the kakwa. Which means this. One of my 10 commandments of international travel is to learn and use a few basic words in the local language. I think it shows respect and makes you a better traveler. It really goes a long way with people too. And sometimes on trips I learn random words like pomegranate since I'm violently allergic to them and the Greeks seem to use them in everything. Rovi. Rovi. So that's where I was this morning. Turkey, right across the Aegean. And now I'm at the place where Hippocrates taught medicine. It's always so funny in the States when there's like an old thing lying around. It's usually like a Massey Ferguson tractor from 1936. And in Europe, when something's old and just lying around, it's like a column from the third century BC. about 5.30 and I'm headed over to the ferry terminal to catch a ferry to Rhodes. It's about a three and a half hour ferry. A little island hopping this morning. Roads. Right here is where the Colossus of Rhodes stood until an earthquake took it out in about 250 BC.
this is the ugliest building that I think I've ever seen. I'm on this crazy climb, really crazy, to get to a monastery called Falaramos. A lot of people recommend it, so hope it's worth it. Oh, hello. Jesus Christ. <sighs> like things on hills. Those Greeks love those hills. Miros. They didn't feel like explaining anything, so they just said, uh, I don't know, just put semicircular, etc. This is my campsite for tonight. And just right over there, there's a house with a dome home, one of those eco dome homes. It's really cool. So they're probably cool people, but I'm trying to keep quiet. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to be really quiet. I've seen a lot of ruins today. I don't have any food. I'm just going to eat this. And uh, there's a castle just... First one to the castle claims it. I will raise the E flag. There is an E family flag, by the way, for my family. And it will rise to the top of this castle. Boring. <laughs> Got 40.8 kilometers remaining until Lindos. Anyway, so if I press, I believe it's this button. You and me both fishing in the dark. This button. Yeah. So it shows the elevation uh, upcoming. I'm guessing it's, uh, it's one of those. Nothing around. But there is this little church with a holy rubbish bin. Oh, holy mother of this church, please give me the strength to continue climbing over this mountain so I can get to Lindos before dark. Amen. wildfires in roads right back there it was all green and I just turned that corner and it's all just dead from the wildfires reminds me of living in Northern California especially like 2017 2018 in wine country this is exactly what it was like here's a little green nice to see some green
Lindos. I have arrived. You can buy beer and cigarettes in these vending machines. It's crazy. There is the town of Lindos. I stayed in one of those white buildings last night so that I could wake up early and visit the Temple of Athena. What's left of it? It was built in the fourth century BC. Anthony Quinn Bay. Ask your grandparents who Anthony Quinn was. And then let me know because I have no idea. Good morning. I'm about to get on that ferry. 11 hours till I get to Crete. Hey! 